Alright folks, welcome back to the next episode of Mass for Bronx. Bye. Wake up, bronze, wake up. Welcome back to the next lecture of Maths for Bronze. Today, we're taking a look at the circumcircle of a triangle. Let's start with the triangle right here. And here's our equilateral triangle. To find the circle that encompasses this triangle, we're going to draw the perpendicular bisectors of all three sides. Where these three bisectors meet up, that's the center of our circle. And now we can use this segment as the radius of our circle of our circumcircle rather and draw the circle that encompasses our equilateral triangle so here's our circumcircle now what we want to find is the radius what is the radius of this circumcircle okay what is the radius of our circumcircle well to find that radius let's start by defining some angles uh, is there any angles we can define here well yeah look up here there's an inscribed angle in the circle. Let's call that angle theta. Well, if this angle is theta, we know the central angle has to be two times that angle. So this whole angle here is two theta, but if we cut it in half, it becomes theta and theta. Okay, so far so good, you say. Now what can we do? Well, we know the distance from the center to the circumference is gonna be the radius, r, and we know we can define this vertex as A, this one as B, this one as C, so that the length of this side, we can say small b, the length of this side, we can say is small a, uh, small c, and the length of this side is small a. But if we cut up this side in half, well, what is small a divided by half? Well, it's going to be a over 2. Okay, well, now we can use some trigonometry to our advantage. What, what trigonometry can we use to find the radius? Well, check it out. We can use sine of theta. What is sine? What is sine of theta? Well, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite over hypotenuse. What's our opposite? It's a over 2. a over 2. What's our hypotenuse? It's r. And so, if we isolate r, what do we get? r is equal to a over 2 sine theta. Okay, so far so good, you say. But we're not done. We can make this even nicer. Check it out. If we draw an altitude from angle C to the opposite side, here's that altitude. And what does that altitude do? Well, it gives us a right angle. And so we can use that to our advantage because now we can say the area of our triangle ABC is what? Well, areas have BH, as I'm sure you know by now. And well, what's B? What's our base? Our base is C. You see that? It's C. And what's our height? Well, our height is going to be this. But what's this? This is just B sine of theta. B sine of theta. Well, now, if you, if you look carefully, we're almost done. We're almost there. How are we almost there? Well, we can solve for sine theta here and then plug in. So what's sine of theta? What's sine of theta? Sine of theta is equal to what? It's 2 times the area of the triangle divided by BC. BC. And now, finally, we can conclude what the radius of the circumcircle is going to be. The radius of our circumcircle, if we take this sine theta, plug it back in, what are we going to get? Well, we're going to get the product of all three lengths of the triangle divided by what? Well, 2 times 2, that's going to give us 4. For what? Well, four times the area of the triangle. Four times the area of our triangle. Triangle A, B, C. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the formula we've been looking for. The area of the triangle given in terms of the circumradius. Thanks for watching this lecture of Math for Bond, sponsored by Brilliant.org, and we'll see you next time. The Ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equals yeah. learning. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today 
and the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that, that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.